Hello all. Welcome to another episode of How It Works. Today we'll be discussing or I'll be showing you how to set up radar. Just to give a glimpse, I think you already know what radar is. If not, so radar is to download movies into Seedbox, or it's uh, it's a movie version of Sonar. If you guys follow me, or if you guys watch my previous videos, you will notice that uh, I put a setup video for Sonar too. Sonar actually downloads all the TV shows, and radar actually does the movies. So. Let me show you how to set up a radar. I'm using Ultra Seedbox, so I'll be using it on my own server. If you are using your own server, this will be the same process if you are trying to set up a radar. So let's dive into the video and see how to set up a radar and how to set up movies or download movies from it. So let's get into the video. First thing let me click on the show info and connect to the radar it will be asking my username and password which are ultra seed box username and password so once you enter in this is how it will look so this is the home screen of radar because you don't add anything there are nothing to show I'll go into system and you can see there it says no indexes available for the automatic search enabled so Radar will not provide any automatic search results. That's what we're going to do now. So let's go into settings. And first thing I want to do is click on show advanced and go to the media management. Here you can see how we can set up movie format. So once it downloads, it can actually rename the movie and just put whatever name, name you want. You can see different examples here. I won't be touching them because I want the actual movie title that I downloaded. So I'll be leaving this it and you don't need to change any of these options so let me scroll down and see if you need to change anything I think in file management yes in file management you need to check the unwanted deleted movies sometimes you download movies and you watch them and you delete them you don't want radar to keep looking for the movies even after you deleted it so make sure you check that and now I'll go to profiles this is this is a good one so I'll be deleting all the profiles I'll explain you why so let me delete them first once I deleted all of them I'll go into the any and I'll uncheck the blu-ray to 260p and I'll just leave I'll start from web 260 to 2004k version and the last version I want is Blu-ray 480p. I'll uncheck all the other ones. So once that's done, I'll hit on save. So you, you can name it anything. I just named it any. So click on save. If you want your custom formats, you can just add one. And just click on add and you can name it whatever. I'll name it unknown. And if you want lower versions, if your server can handle, or if you don't have much space in your server, I would say just go for web 720p or even if that's higher for you, just go with web 480p. It will only check for those formats which will help if you have less storage space. I have better storage space so I'll be deleting this. I don't need this. So that's how you add new source. And now I'll go into the quality. This is up to you. You if you want to have you can decide what version it should check if a movie is 10 GB or 15 GB you can set it to check only if it's below 5 GB just download if not don't download it it helps a lot in managing your storage space I won't be touching any of this I'll just set it to default because I have a good storage space so I won't need to worry about this so once that's done I'll be going into the next step custom formats you don't need to change anything here you don't have any custom formats as of now so you don't need to change anything here this is the interesting part so now you'll step into indexes once you switch into indexes I'll be switching into sonar setup which is similar to radar 
first I'll the first thing I'll do is I'll add this bad busy and I'll put seed ratio as two so that's the that's what I choose but it's up to you I, I choose it to two because I don't want to I don't have much upload limit so I'll, I'll be just using two so that's all and I hit save and there is one more option once you go there you can even test if the indexer is working if you get the screen it's good if you get red the it shows you on the top what went wrong so that's how you do it and for other indexers I'll go back to my seed box I'll connect to my jacket I'll log into the jacket if you guys are wondering how to set up jacket and how to install and how to use it I made a video regarding that I'll put the link in description so that you guys can follow that so now I'm in jacket and I'll add an indexer and this is the API key that's important I'll be uninstalling jacket and installing after this tutorial so I'm leaving I'm showing you guys this so that you guys will know what's happening and how important it is so let's start I want to add an indexer um, let me think about what indexer I want to add uh, let's add torrents too so I'm going to search for torrents too it's a public indexer so I'll just hit on plus that says add click on that it adds to the list once that's done copy the API key go to indexer settings in sonar click on add and go to thoughts that click on that and name it I'll name it to and the, put the API key here and go back to jacket copy this second one paste it in URL and in categories I would like to pick TV and I'll also see what other options I have yeah I have only that since Sonar downloads only uh, TV shows there's no point of putting me putting movies and also I just use TV and let's test this and see if it matches I can I can even pick seed ratio here I'll put two so that it only seeds until then and let me test it it's taking a long time to test yeah. you see I got some error let me go up and see this may be issue with your indexer or your indexer category settings so the category is not as expected let me go and add movies now I don't think I need movies so I think TV is, is enough for me so let me test it again if not we'll use different indexer this doesn't work yeah I don't think this is working so let me go and add different indexer if you guys know why that issue is happening please let me know in the comments I would like to know too so let me add yeah 1337x I click on add it adds to the list once again I'll copy this I already have that so I just need this the second one copy terms that feed and same API key I'll change the link there 
limit 13377x now TV documentary it has multiple options so you can select whichever one you want and I'm good with those so let me hit test this one is good so probably the torrents too doesn't have much TV content so it's mostly for radar I'll show you how to set up a radar too in future tutorials so hit save I'm adding only couple for now you need this that BG for sure uh, the rest of them are up to you if you want to if you want them or not so you can add as many as you want in the jacket and copy them into the here so once that's done I'll go to download clients I'm going to use transmission so I'll click on here and click on transmission I'll go to my seed box and once you click show info you'll have all the required details here in the remote client access so go there I'm going to name it transmission looking for a host I'll leave my IP there it's looking for a port number I have my port number here so I'll copy that and paste it you are a base I'll leave it as it is and username and password uh, your seed box username and password I'll I don't change any of the stuff and let me see if I need to change anything but I don't think I need to change anything let me test it it's all good so save you can use multiple download clients you see you have our torrent U torrent and download station deal and every other alternative so I'm using transmission because I'm comfortable with that so it's up to you Once everything is set up, uh, just go into all the way up to movies and click on add movies, add new. Let's search for the Dark Knight since it's suggesting that. So let's search for the Dark Knight and let's see if we can find it. Yep, that's how you find the Dark Knight movie. And now, as I said, the quality profile is set to any. So that's what we set and it should be monitored. Let me add it to my server path and let me go into my server and I'll put it in downloads. So, yep, and once that's done, um, you need to make sure that's checked because it will start checking for that movie right away. You can actually see it once I hit on add, it, it started searching for the indexes in inside the indexes and it will show you in the queue very soon uh, but let me show you in transmission that we just added so once you open transmission it should be there yep right you go so it will start downloading as soon as it does all its work in the background it's downloading 2160p so it's 4k since I set the highest value it it found that version and it started downloading so this is how you set up your radar and hope this helps you guys and you can actually see what movies are being monitored and what movies are downloaded here if you add more movies or if you you, you can even connect your seed box or your whatever storage location you're using to this and it will also monitor those movies and this is how you add movies to radar uh, this is how you set up radar and connect it to the indexes using 
jacket and download movies to your seat box hope this tutorial helped you guys and if you want to know more about sonar or radar keep following my channel and i'll also leave the description and under this video for how to set up sonar step by step process and i also included a video saying how to set up a jacket i'll also include that in the description hope you guys like my video make sure you hit the subscribe and bell icon so that you'll get my updates whatever new tutorials i post i'm planning to post more and more tutorials day by day so keep following my channel have a good day thank you